Aloha, uh, I'm, this is uh, ICS 321 and uh, we are in the middle of doing assignment two and I have an addendum for question number two. I forgot to include the uh, foreign keys, the assignment of the foreign keys, the, uh, the, uh, um, the, uh, con those constraints. So let me, um, uh, the, uh, set up these referential uh, so that would be in question two uh, basically what it is is when we created this um, when we created the uh, table that uh, there's there's more than one table that has PID and EID as as part of part of or the primary key and uh, so there are those referential uh, constraints that we need to uh, make sure we set up. So let's go to the database here. It's assignment two. And uh, if we look at the tables, uh, employee, empl oh, this one, employee hours, um, depend on, on EID in the employee database and PID in the, um, in the project database. So those need to be, so EID in assignment two, question two, uh, employee, employee database EID. <clears throat> and if we uh, add a second constraint here, that would be, oh, and uh, let's see, we had decided um, we would cascade updates and uh, restrict deletes. Cascade updates and restrict deletes and uh, PID in the same database is connected to the projects PID. All right, save that. And there's one other one that we need and that is um, the employee database uh, refers to the zip code. This this refers to the primary key over here. So uh, I think I need to if I go to structure and relation view. Can I select a uh, zip code uh, is in the same database to the zip city zip. And um, changing a zip code. Uh, let's let's just restrict both of those. All right. Uh, now we have uh, now we we've, we've completed all the relations. If we actually go back to the, the database here and let's do let's see what an export looks like. Uh, let's let's just export these. We don't need this one. We don't need this one. Let's see what these look like all together. And we can just view the output as text. Click go. And this is what the export looks like. We're creating tables and uh, inserting records, creating a table, inserting the records, creating the table, inserting the records, inserting the records, and then indexes. Uh, we set the primary key of employee to EID, and then we add another key, which is, this is the index, the key that um, refers to uh, references the primary key in the zip city table. And for E hours, the primary key is EID, PID, but we have a couple other key fields, which, which just means uh, we actually don't need these there because they're included here. Uh, here we have a primary key uh, in the project tables, PID. Uh, actually, I do think we need this because uh, this is the first key. And so we actually need to be able to uh, access this directly. Uh, for zip kitty we key we have this is the primary key and and then these are the referential constraints we've got 
uh, we've got in the employee table, employee table, we've got uh, a foreign key zip, which references the zip, uh, primary key of the zip city. And in our employee project hours, we've got the two foreign keys into EID and PID, uh, uh, which uh, reference employee and the project. So uh, I'm gonna uh, post this video up uh, and uh, just uh, keep, keep in mind, this is uh, an addendum to question two. Thanks for watching.